Hello guys, this is new. This is new. It's Peppy back with a new episode, a new series. Um, we are going to be kicking off with AC Milan, guys. This is um, a really big save because I usually I do it every year. I do an AC Milan save every single year. I love AC Milan. Um, their fall from grace has been spectacular. <laughs> uh we do plan to try obviously i'm thinking this will probably be like a three to five season save and um, maybe longer depending on how things go but uh we're going to start off Um, our main goal is to win syria not sorry not to win syria to, to get into europe that's our main goal get back into champions league year on year on i'm expecting honestly in the third to fourth season we should be winning the syria okay at the latest Um, goal of the series is obviously win the champions league get them back into europe you know get them get them to be a real powerhouse in europe again um if we don't succeed within the five or six years i'll kind of gauge on you know what people want whether i keep going or not um but yeah guys uh i hope you guys do enjoy the video um it's Milan are a team that have such a like long history in football and um, my favorite team would have been like when Kaka was there and Perlo. Like that was the team to be, I think. Um, so yeah, guys, throw me a comment in the in down below there. Uh, what what team was your favorite AC Milan team? Who was your favorite player off AC Milan? Stuff like that. I used to love Shevchenko as well. Shevchenko was such a good striker. Um, and Zaghi, obviously, everybody knows Zaghi. Uh, can uh, not Cannavaro, Mesta and Maldini. Uh, also just it was. It, it, Milan had such a good team I just can't stress it enough it was so good <laughs> um, but yeah guys I am going to hop straight over um, into the FM now and we will start going through the team stuff like that and uh, we'll see what happens so guys hope you enjoy the video see you in a minute alright guys we are in FM 20 right now and I guess the first thing we should do is check out the team we'll go to the all positions here we'll check out the squad we'll see what we need where what we're probably going to play Um, i have two formations in my mind Um, well the main formation i think will just be the standard four two three one Um, just kind of standard nearly in every team nowadays uh but yeah we're, we're going to use that i think as our standard one i also do want to train a tactic um and i'll try it in and out the season uh like a four it's kind of like a 4-2-4 with wingers and two men up front, uh, just with wing play sort of stuff. Uh, I would, I do want to try that out. Um, just, just see how it goes. Um, okay, so we're gonna we we'll just start we start from the defense and work our way forward. Okay, so we have Donnarumma in goals. Obviously, he will probably be our keeper for the next like how many ever seasons we do this. I doubt very much I will ever sell him. Um, behind him we have Pepperene and his brother another Donnarumma. <laughs> Uh, we also, I know I see Milan team quite well, okay? So we also have um, a young keeper called uh, Pizzari um, in the under-18s. And I usually will sell my backup keepers and start just giving Pizzari game time to get him progressing faster. Uh, so we might do that this season. We might keep Pepe for one season. I'm not really sure yet. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that as, as we get to it. So, in the centre-backs, uh, you can click into these, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Centre-backs, obviously, Romagnoli, probably going to be our captain this season. I would probably make him captain if he's not already. He might be a captain already. I'm not sure. Um, But anyway, yeah, he's our star centre-back. He'll be with us for as long as I'm here, if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> um, Mursaccio, very good defender as well. Used to play for Juventus, I'm pretty sure. I want to say he played for Juventus. Um, so, today will be my defensive pairing for the first season um he's only 28 so i have another probably two seasons before i get rid of him um caldara young young enough defender not as good as rob mcnally but he's still he's still solid he's a good solid um option and his potential is three and a half star uh when rob mcnally's four star so like he's not much off of um rob mcnally and leo duarte he is a new player for them uh, he's only 22 really good potential he's a bit low on the actual uh, current ability but uh yeah really really good potential uh he could be a star for us as well we'll we'll see how he turns out um after them though they're kind of my force yeah they're kind of my four um defend like center defenders the other ones don't i'm actually gonna take them out Um, i don't actually play gabia as a defender i play him as a dm when i when i use him 
so there we go and then on the left uh this guy is actually one of my favorite players in fm the last like two seasons such a good left back so good so fast uh tio hernandez and alongside him then we have rodriguez the two of these are super good i'll be rotating in and out throughout the season if it comes down to it hernandez uh, rodriguez will probably be the one to be sold down the line um just because tio's so much younger and i just think he's better already so um i'm actually going to get rid of I, I always do this i always take players out of uh just when they're not going to be playing there i might uh do we have a left back in the young in the U team? i can't remember if we have a left back in the u team so if we don't i will probably just sign like a third option just in case uh calabria can play there but he's going to be on the right and speaking of the right but why do we have barino as a like he's so like all over the place <laughs> okay on the right we have a uh, andrea conte um quick look at him he is 25 good option uh i honestly think uh calabria is better and he's younger it's kind of the same as what's on the left whereas like tio is better in my opinion than rodriguez i think calabria is already better than conte but you know we'll be rotating the two of them in because you, you don't know what's going to happen like down the line if uh they become unsettled or something like that um so right here i'm not sure which i'm doing i might do two center maids or two or like one dm and two center maids something like that i'm not really sure yet so we're, go we're not going to take a look at the wing backs because they're pretty much the same same on the right and left uh, midfielders we're going to have a look at the dms so dm wise we have lucas abiglia who is 33 probably his last season with the club to be honest um frank kessie is a monster I love Frank Kessie every season. He's just so good. Um, he would be a box-to-box -box midfielder because that is just where he shines, in my opinion. Um, Ismail Benakar, he is only 21, and he has the potential. He is so good. Um, he was so good last year as well, in my opinion. After a few seasons, he turned into a monster as well. So I think what's going to happen this season is Biglia will be the deep-line playmaker um, on the DM spot. And Ismail will be his backup. Kessie will not actually feature in that role at all. Uh, Gabi might feature a little bit, but not too crazy. You're actually just not probably going to be here. Same with you. I don't really rate you, Cavagnira. I don't rate him at all, but maybe he might turn good for us. <laughs> uh, now, center mid. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. My phone just went off there. Um. So in the center mid, we have... I'm going to take Bigley out because I don't plan to use him there. Uh, we'll take Ismail out because I don't plan to use him there either. And... Mm, so we have a few... We have a lot of midfielders. This is the problem with AC Milan. I think they've overstocked their midfielders. So like, But then they have good like wing players as well. So it's not like you can play a diamond because you have such good wing players that you don't want to waste them. So... My starting two midfielders will probably be f uh, Frank Kessie. Well, he will be a starting player. I know he will. <laughs> and then the next one is like a toss-up between Bonaventura and Paquette. Paquette turns into an absolute monster, but he might not be what we need this season. Um, so he might just be a backup for Vo Bonaventura, like a rotate between these two. Um, and like they're all like advanced playmakers like look at this they're not like it's not like we have tons of box to boxes and stuff it's just like we've won box to box like four advanced playmakers and then the rest are all just like trash so like suso is not going to play there uh castellito is not going to play there gabia is not going to play there uh barini is not going to play there tarassi is too trash to play there <laughs> cavigna yeah i don't rate you okay so like we've that many midfielders and they're all mainly advanced playmakers but you know that's fine they, they'll obviously fill in in a box to box for kessie like this guy can just fill in for uh kessie and stuff like that but yeah so um on the wings then this is we have some really good wingers but at the same time we have some really really trash wingers uh, I'm just going to remove guys that I know won't play there. Um, Capani might play out there just to give him game time. He's a young player. Uh, he's only 19, Brazilian. 17 determination. Uh, 14 technique, 14 first touch. He's, he Because of his determination, and he already has some really good stats, he can turn into a really, really good player. But he has to be given game time. I have um, I've seen him not turn into a good player at all just because people just left him rot you know um 
Rebic can play on this side. Barini. I'm actually going to try to sell Barini. So I'm actually going to remove him altogether. I'm going to try to sell him. Okay, so on the right we have Suso. Obviously, you guys probably know who Suso is. He's so good. He's probably going to be one of our star players this season. Um, hopefully, he's meant to be one of our star players this season. <laughs> um, but yeah, not not really else. Uh, Castellito really good in the last couple of FMs. Um, as a good like backup for Suso. Um, or like maybe like uh, after the first season or second season, or whatever. Usually, a really big team comes in for Suso, and it's really hard to keep him. So sometimes Castellito just fills in for the rest of the season or whatever happens you know uh, advanced uh, attacking mids i don't know if we're playing that yet but if we are lucas and bonaventura again we'll be fighting for that spot uh, on the left we have see this is the thing bonaventura can play on the left so this gives me a chance to play paqueta as well so this is really good um in, in that situation Barini can leave uh Castillo hakan can play on the left we have a lot of people that can play on the left and we have a uh, rebic that has come in on loan who's he on loan from again frankfurt because they've done some sort of deal where silva is gone to uh frankfurt and we've gotten rebic i would prefer to keep silva to be honest and then and just not have rebic but i can't cancel the loan so that's uh that's always good um other than that though guys it's pretty much bonaventura rebic uh hakan maybe castellijo if we need can play there as well um depending on what way we play and lastly guys we are in the strikers. Here we go. Piatek is up front. He is probably, yeah, he is our star man this season. 18 finishing, 17 composure. Looks so good. His off the ball is 16. Determination is 19. Anticipation is 18. It's really good for striker as well. I He's going to score so many goals for us this season, hopefully. <laughs> uh, of course, like I said, Silva is on loan. Uh, Rebic can come in and play up front, but I won't be using him up front at all. Um let me see here. Capani and uh, Leo are my two backup strikers. Let me get rid of some of these guys because I've way too many people here. Hang on. Paqueta. Uh, Leo. Yeah. So, and Barini because he won't play at all. <laughs> um, so, Luan Capani, I've already showed you him. Rafael. What's going on here? Uh, Rafael Leo is actually a wonder kid in this year's FM, I believe. Let me let me check. I, just, I actually want to check if he is, like, labeled... Um, a wonder kid. He's not. He's not labelled a wonder kid. I know his potential is like really up there though. Um. Anyway, there is his stats. He's only twenty, and he has some very good stats. Um. I don't know how well he actually turns out. I just know he has really good potential. I haven't seen him in like later saves. Um. And seen like, oh, he's so good, you know. But uh, yep. That's pretty much that. Um. I'm gonna hop into tactics. Uh. Right now, it is a choice between these are actually the two that I would I would play. It is either Gagan Press or Vertical Tick Attacker. Um, I always do prefer the Tick Attacker, so when I have that choice, I do like to play it. It's recommended me to play a Diamond, but I'm not doing that. This is actually what we're going to play. Um, I might mess with some rolls and stuff like that, but that's actually our go-to. And like I said, I do want to try a wing play. Now, guys, I'm going to adjust these, like, off screen. Just the, like, little things here and there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is what I want as a 4-2-4, four, four, pretty much. Um, and I'm not sure what tactic to go for for the third option. Uh, probably a more defensive one. Um, I could even just use this as, but put it on cautious and just, like, drop the DM, the center mids back a little bit. Um something like that i'm not really sure but guys if you have a suggestion for um the third tactic get throw it out give me something let me see what you got <laughs> uh but yeah i'm going to change these uh, a little bit off screen but uh let me check would i would i just put people in oh, no 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 would i just put people in just to see what we have so we have we have don ramon goals we have um Masaccio and Romagnoli. They're both going to be ball players on my team, to be honest. So both these are going to be ball playing defenders. Um we put Masaccio in. Wait, what foot are you? I hate the way this that little window doesn't show you what foot they are. So very strong right, and I think Romagnoli's right as well though, isn't he? Oh no, he's left. Okay, so and then we just 
do that. <laughs> okay, so on the right then, we will have Cabliara between Conte. Like I said, they'll be fighting. Tio is going to start. Oh, wait, he's actually going to be injured. Two to three months. Okay, so we're actually going to be starting the season with um, the other dude, Rodriguez. Okay. Um, the Regista is going to be Biglia, and he's not going to be a Regista. He is going to be a deep line playmaker on the fend. Um, our box to box there's only one man for the role that is Frank Kessie and then our other midfielder we will start off with Bonaventura rotating between um, uh, what's his name Paqueta 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 uh, I don't know whether to change this to advanced playmaker or leave it at a Mazella I think we leave it at Mazella um, yeah I think we do that now, do we... I think we just leave them both as inside forwards, to be honest. So, Hakan is... Yeah, Hakan is my preferred player, to be honest. And Suso on the right. I want them both as a... And I want both wing-backs on attack, to be honest. Um, deep playing forward, I don't know if that's his best role. I think a complete forward might be better here. Because he just he'll drop deep he'll he'll kind of do everything when he's a when he's a complete forward he'll try and score. Hmm. No, you know what? We we'll leave it. We we'll leave it as a deep line forward for now on attack. These on support they're gonna cut in. They're gonna overlap. Just want to make sure. No overlap, and then we focus through the middle. So the guys on the wings then are gonna cut in. The wing backs are gonna go up, cut it. Uh, pass them out. Uh, shorter. I like. Mm, do we leave it lower? I think higher might be better because we're pretty technical already. We're pretty good technically. Um, mixed crosses. We go to low crosses. Counter press. Counter. Yep. Let's do with the fullbacks as well. And more origin. I want to use the offside trap. I think. Mm, I think that's fine. Uh, I don't want to use very narrow. I just. I'll just use narrow. Um. I don't like using very narrow for some reason. It's just. Just the way it is. <laughs> and we put it on positive because I want to be attacking a bit more than usual, you know. All right. So, guys, that's it. Um, Transfers-wise, I do want to get maybe a backup, uh, like a uh, fullback that can play both sides. So, something like a Calabria, but just someone that's really on the fringe, you know. He's really on the fringes of the team. Um, I will have a look into you teams and stuff as well and see who's there. Um, is there anyone coming up right now? Okay, so hang on. Okay, I know him. He's a center back, yeah. And Halalovic, the winger, yep. Okay, both of them are on loan anyway, so not a big deal. Um, probably our top prospect, other than the goalkeeper, is Daniel Maldini. He has the potential to turn into. He is actually uh, Paolo Maldini's son, um, and he will turn into a monster of a winger, to be honest. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, back to transfers. I think the only thing that I'm really looking for is, like, backups. Like, I think we actually have such a good team. I would like to get maybe a second striker in because our backup strikers are... Um, well, we have Rebic, I guess, on loan, but I don't, I don't consider him a striker. He's more of, a, like, an inside forward. So we're going to go with something like a... Um, I don't even know what to go with, but our other two strikers are really like during 19. I don't know if they're good enough, you know, if Piotek was to get injured, like, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're good enough to fill in. So we do need one more striker, um, but I'll have a look. Actually, I didn't even check the finances. What do we have? We have 21 million. It's not bad. We could, literally, we could sign Haaland right now, but I whether he joined is a different story, but I don't really want to sign Haaland. Everybody signing Haaland. I really don't want to do that, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I am gonna skip ahead, and I am gonna go to the uh, gonna go through all my transfers, and I will be back for the first game of the season, and that's that. All right, see you in a sec. Hey guys, it is Peppy. Um, I just saw, I I realized when I recorded this video, um, at the end, if I had have put in the first game of the season, we would have like a thirty plus minute episode, and I do like to keep my episodes like twenty minutes or less even. So I'm actually going to just 
have this as a standalone episode one squad depth uh squad in-depth look kind of thing uh the first actual game of the season will be out uh tomorrow so i will go ahead i'll make sure that that's out tomorrow and uh yeah that's it guys like i said earlier thanks very much for watching if you like the video please do comment below hit that subscribe button and even hit the bell so you get notified and stuff like that um and like i said earlier throw your favorite player throw your favorite uh, Ace Milan team whatever down in the comments let's let's see what's happening down there and I will see you guys next time see ya